A3 of a 2023 Bell Canadian Track and Field Championships is the Senior Women's 800 Meters. In lane eight from the Royal City Athletics Club, it'll be Sadie Jane Hickson. In lane seven from the University of Laval, Emma Degenay. In lane six from the Royal City Athletics Club, Jazz Shukla. She was the bronze medalist at Nationals last year. In lane five from the Grizzly Endurance Collective, it's Olivia Cooper. In lane four, the defending national champion, Maddie Kelly from the Royal City Athletics Club. In lane three, out of Ontario, Aurora Rinda competes for the University of Michigan. She's got her Michigan kit on tonight. She was an NCAA finalist indoors and outdoors this year. Finished eighth last year. Sydney Smith from the Ottawa Lions will be in lane two. And Adria Prop from Saskatchewan, fifth last year. She will be in lane one. It is the senior women's 800 meter final. Keep your eyes on Maddie Kelly and teammate Jazz Shukla as they are underway now. As you said, Maddie Kelly coming in as a defending champion from last year. She's middle of track in that red kit. She was also an incredible sort of surprise winner in 2019 and since then has made just about every team that she could make, putting herself at the top of the 800 meter world alongside teammates Jazz Shukla to her outside. And Lucia Stafford, who of course is focusing on the 1500, but expect this to go fast. That's prop up front. We already saw Adria run in the 400 meter hurdles earlier today. She likes to front run. She's a powerful athlete up in front there. And keep your eye as well on Aurora Rinda wearing that Michigan kit. She's got tons of experience coming off of the NCAA circuit with a 202, but now Maddie Kelly looking to make it a double back-to-back -back wins in this 800. Maddie Kelly into third, Jazz Shukla running fifth. See if she makes a move here. It's Rinda still leading the way, or excuse me, it's Prop leading the way, Rinda in second, Kelly in third, and she's gonna go out into lane two to try and find a path to the front. Sydney Smith in the mix too. She's trying to move her way into third. Shukla in fifth. Now she's making her move. Kelly out in front, looking to go back to back. Rinda still right there with her. And they are pulling away right now. Jazz Shukla leading that chase pack. Kelly trying to pull away from Rinda. Rinda. Won't be able to go with her. Maddie Kelly makes it back-to-back -back Canadian Championships in the 800 meters. Adam, that was brilliant. Maddie is finding her footing again. She has had such great success in this event in the short time that she's been competing internationally for Team Canada but it hasn't been the year she's been looking for. This should feel so, so good. Her training's been going great, and she said she just hasn't been able to really put it together in a race the way she wants to. Big move there with 200 to go. She felt the pressure on the outside with Rinda, who in her own right is a 202 athlete and a finalist at the NCAA Championships this year. Pressure was on, and in the past, I've seen Maddie just falter ever so slightly in the final 100 meters when she can feel the challenge mounted to her outside. The difference today is that she keeps that focus and she drives confidently for the line. It made all the difference. She is a three-time national champion, two of them back to back, and that's going to be a great way to wrap up her time in Langley. 202-29 for Kelly 
202.73 for Rinda Shukla with an excellent close for her, 203.94. Adam, to have four women in the 800 final under that 205 mark in still a fairly tactical race is very special. Congratulations to our 800 meter podium finishers.